Hey YouTubers! My name is Zoe and welcome to my channel All About Wildlife. In most of my other videos, I talk about more than one animal, but today's animal is so special that I feel like they deserve their own video. So today's video is going to be all about opossums. Now before we get started, I have a question for all of you. What does the word opossum mean? Does it mean playing dead, white beast, or tree rat? We'll answer this question at the end of the video, but for now, let's get started. You might have realized that I called them opossums and not possums. Many people wonder if possums and opossums are different animals. They are different animals that actually live in different parts of the world. Opossums live in America, while their cousin, the possum, lives in Australia. Yet many people in America have been saying possum and spelling it P O. S S U M for so long that most people have just accepted it. For this video, I'll be calling them opossums. There's actually 65 different species of opossums in the world, but there's only one species that lives in North America, the Virginia opossum. The Virginia opossum is also the only marsupial to live in North America. They live from Mexico all the way up to the state of Maine and a few on the west coast. Now you might be thinking, what do you mean by marsupial? A marsupial is a mammal that has a pouch where they carry their young. Other examples of marsupials are wombats, kangaroos, koalas, etc. From their nose to their tails, opossums can grow anywhere between 2 to 3 feet long. They weigh anywhere between 2 to 15 pounds, depending on the time of year. Opossum females are called jills and can give birth up to 20 babies that are called joeys. The joeys will stay in the mom's pouch for about two months before they outgrow the pouch. They'll ride on their mom's back for about another two months, many times giving the mother's Mother of the Year award. Around five months, the joeys will leave their moms and start their own lives. Opossums are also great tree climbers. They have five fingers and five toes on each of their paws, much like humans do. They use their paws to climb up trees to get to food and avoid predators. They also have a long rat-like tail. Their tails are actually prehensile tails, which means that they can hang by it, much like monkeys do. This way, if they slip on a tree branch, their tails will catch them, and they can also use their tails to get closer to food. If you look inside an opossum's mouth, you'll see up to 50 sharp teeth. They use these teeth to eat food, like fruits and vegetables, that hang on trees. They also like to eat small birds, snakes, and insects. One of the opossum's all-time favorite food is ticks. A single opossum will eat up to about 5,000 ticks in one year. Many people might be thinking, don't ticks carry Lyme disease? If an opossum eats a tick with Lyme disease, won't they get the disease? The answer is no. Opossums can't contract Lyme disease. On top of not being able to have Lyme disease, they also very rarely get rabies. Almost all mammals can contract rabies, including humans. Opossums can't get rabies as easily because of their body temperature. Rabies virus lives in the warm blood of mammals. The average human body is 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit, while the opossum's body heat can reach as low as 90 degrees Fahrenheit. The virus can't survive for long periods of time in cold temperatures and will die before causing any effects. Many people say that they've seen opossums with rabies because they have scruffy fur, they walk weird, plus they drool. This is actually just how opossums look. They can't really control it much like how they can't control when they play dead. You might have heard the saying, playing possum. This means that something is pretending to be dead when really it's alive. But opossums don't intentionally play dead. Kind of like the fainting goats, when they get scared, their instinct kicks in and they faint. Opossums do more than just faint though. They actually stop breathing and their hearts stop. They can stay in a dead state up to four hours. Now, this tactic might seem dangerous when trying to escape a predator, 
but it actually works pretty well because most predators like to chase after their prey. If the prey acts like they're dead, the predator could lose interest. On top of acting dead, the opossum will release an awful smell that smells like rotting flesh. This makes the predator think that the opossum is rotting and might not want to eat it. When the opossum is safe again, they get up and go about their business. And that's it for opossums. Did you get a chance to think about the question from before? What does the word opossum mean? Does it mean plain dead, white beast, or tree rat? The answer is B, White Beast. They got their names from Captain John Smith in the 1600s, who got the word from Native Americans who lived in Virginia, who called them opossums, which translates to White Beast. It could be they got this name because they only come out at night and their face are a pale white color and their eyes shine red when reflecting light, making them look like little white beasts. Believe it or not, most Native American folklore don't have opossums as characters. The stories that do have opossums include the opossum fading out of embarrassment, or sometimes they're the hero of the story. It all depends on how you want to look at them. Well, that's it for today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or you want me to talk about another animal, let me know in the comments below. And I hope to see you again.